A mother wants answers tonight after she says her two children were dropped off at the wrong bus stop. News 2's Raymond Owens went to Shakora Elementary School to find out exactly what happened. Two intelligent little girls love to read, get along with everyone. Shanira Sherman is proud of her six and seven year old daughters. A first grader and a second grader. Last Monday, her girls got on the school bus at Chicora Elementary to go home. They recently moved after Hurricane Matthew damaged their other home. They were supposed to be dropped off at a bus stop that they weren't real familiar with near Spurl Avenue and Redwood Street. But they did notify the bus driver that they were that they missed their stop, that they were past where they supposed to have been let off at. And the bus driver pretty much told them, well, the rule on my bus is you get off and walk back. She says her girls were dropped off near Spurl and Hackaman, a little over half a mile away from their stop. The girl's father contacted the school to find out where the kids were, and they told him they were dropped off at Hackaman. So he left the unit and basically ran all the way to Hackaman to find out if they were still there. The principal of Jacora Elementary got in her car and began to search as well. Shanira says that after they were dropped off, her girl stood at the bus stop and cried. A good Samaritan came to them and went to get his wife before he touched them, moved them, or did anything. He went to go get his wife, and she basically came out. They asked the girls where were they, did they live at. The couple gave the girls a ride back to the school. I just thank God that it wasn't no criminal or no kind of rapist who got their hands on some of my kids. And I just hope they can get down to the bottom of it and do something to prevent it from happening again. The Charleston County School District tells me they're not going to comment on the situation until they've had a chance to look at the video and audio from the school bus. In North Charleston, I'm Raymond Owens, News 2. Raymond, thank you. Charleston County School District officials did release a short statement late this afternoon, and it reads in part, Shakora Elementary School Principal Shavana Coakley has worked diligently to find out what exactly happened and to make certain the miscommunication between the bus driver and the students is addressed so this situation does not happen again.